Hey, orange one here. So, uh, I thought that the cybernetics rack that I found recently was going to be the highlight of the next episode. I was wrong. Um, I found a Pudis Templar. It's right there. So we're gonna, we're just gonna first figure out some of these enemies. I'm gonna try and get some cybernetics off of him. Okay, so this dude just exploded on me. I think that slumberling is kind of coming towards me. I'm gonna actually just kill the slumberling. Oh, there's a there's a robot there. Um, can I shoot it? Yes, I can. Can I kill it? Yes. Okay, cool. That that's not everything. There's still the uh, glow thing. I think the Templar is going for it though. There's also those lampreys that are gonna be. I don't think he can kill the lampreys, to be honest. But what we can do is we can wait for him to kill one of the lampreys and then kill the other one. Possibly. Kind of heal up. I don't know. We're gonna take care of that dude real soon, but it's just clear. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see what cybernetics we can get from him. I'm actually full. I think we just need to preserve our food there. Where are you, Templar? Did you kill them? Okay, alright. Looks like he killed them. Hello there, my friend. I'm gonna get up real close to you. Um, let's have a look. Back up. He's implanted. He's got some weird artifacts. Price steel for right. Yeah, this guy could be tough. Okay, let's uh let's wait for us to be maybe healed up. Uh, it looks like I have to kill the slime. Fine. Oh no, the lampreys are not dead. Are they both? Did they both get killed there? I think they might have both been killed within close enough succession just because the two of them were attacking. That's good. Okay, so let's get it so we're next to him and our friend's next to him. We're gonna inflate axons and we are going to berserk. We're going to flurry. We're gonna see what we can do here. Um. Yeah, I think I think we're doing pretty good there. They're impaired. Left arm, left hand, eat, and now they're decapitated. Sweet. See, that's why you want to get the um <laughs> the axe axe skill because if you get that that berserker, oh man. But what's this? Oh what? Oh, cool. That's like a really good, like a really, really good one. Definitely gonna hold on to that. Um, translucent skin? What's what's that? Oh, that's not half bad either. Cool. Okay, well we got some, uh, we got some new cybernetics. I gotta show you the cybernetics that I got and go back to the, up to that place and we'll see about installing those cybernetic uh, credit wedges as well. Um... I'm going to actually, um, let's pour from this first. Canteen, yep. And then we'll, we're just gonna disassemble that. I think, that, yeah, I've still got tons of weight. I've got tons of stuff that I need to, honestly, these, these, uh, chem cells, we could disassemble, probably of those. Oh, hold on. I think that should be almost enough. Yes. I get my proper weapon back. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're almost back to being able to move. Um, and then yeah. Just have a look, see what else did I did I leave anything else there? I think that he's probably got some other stuff that he had on the ground that I probably want, but I don't think I can carry. I think that I've, I've got just too much stuff right now. 
got my friend here. They might be able to even equip some of it. Um, I don't know. Maybe the shard mail was was better. I don't think. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Um, I could also put a shield on you. Maybe I should put the shield on you. Um, let's have a look. See at this. This is crazy heavy armor. I think this is better armor, so we'll do something like that for now. And this, I can't equip anything to. I can put those boots on. That really, really makes you have um, a little too much weight now. Um, let's get rid of this, though. Yeah, we've got tons, tons of carrying capacity. You think of it that way. Actually, can I have a look at um, level up, maybe? Yes. Okay, this dude... So now my main character is like kind of like mostly leveled up, but this dude right here is gonna, gonna need some uh, high strength build skills. Um, okay, you know what we can do? Let's see. Let's see what mutations we can get here. Oh no, we, we gotta wait. 199 turns. That might our domination might end at that point. Okay, no. Um, wait, ten more. Uh. Recog, okay, good. And then let's go ahead and uh, go to that level up and see what, what mutations we get. We could also just invest in the mutations that we already have, is the thing. If I don't like what we we end up getting here. Um, ego production? I thought I already had that, no? I think that that is worth getting, honestly. He'll be able to use it to boost his stats to like just ridiculous things. Because he has actually, I think, uh, a Slumberling's face. We just took their head off, right? Yeah. So, unfortunately, we aren't, aren't going to get anything else from that. Okay. Well, good to know, I suppose. Uh, nah. Well, we're going to keep the boosted. Stuff. I think he's probably gonna get another mutation lined up anyways. Oh, we can pick up some more stuff there, cool. Uh maybe I should go back to the boss man. Okay, can I um I can probably slam him pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> I don't need to though. Um that's the end domination. And then I'm gonna just kind of oh never mind. Already have a camp nearby. <laughs> I don't want the meat though. Can I get rid of that? Where is it? Beetle meat? Where is it? Uh I'm looking at the wheat here here we go. Good. Um, I'm just curious what's... Yeah, that's actually what we were looking at earlier. Let's go back up and let's see what we can do with these cybernetics. I think that we got some really good, really, really good stuff here. Um, yeah, I think I kind of ran past some enemies. There might be a couple that we need to actually fight, even. No? Okay, there we Um, sure. There's the way up. Action is Pumer. Okay, take that. Uh, and there we go. Problem solved, right? And then, I think, I think I went a couple levels down here, but we're pretty much at the top now. So even banana trees here. I need to get the harvestry skill from someone. I need to just find like a special friend. Okay, so this is where I found a cybernetics rack here which I actually got some really good cybernetics from. Um, can I, I, hold on, let's just upgrade my license. Yep, let's keep on doing that. Okay, good. 
I think we're at Lionson's tier 13. Okay. I think that means I might be able to install more. I'm not sure. Communications interlock, I've had. Add help with range. I think I want the matter recompositor. It sounds just amazing, to be honest. Translucent skin is also nice, and communications interlock would be kind of nice to be able to mess with more robots, but. Well, let's try and uninstall stuff. What do I kind of not really need? I don't really need that, to be honest. Um, where would this go? Oh no, that can only go in... I, I kind of want the equipment rack. It's really good. What about the... We might just stick with what we have then. Because the equipment rack, trust me, it's really good having two back, back slots. Um, that's a shame that that only goes in the body. I didn't realize that about that cybernetic, the, uh, this one. But yeah, it only goes in the body. The equipment rack, I'm sure, only goes in the body, right? I look at it, the cybernetics I have. Yeah, of course. But I mean, if you look at it, this allows me to have both a backpack on and a powered exoskeleton. I actually have another exoskeleton lying around here. I just have so much stuff. I can't carry it. So I think we need to go trade some stuff, honestly. Um, and so actually, I think for now, We'll keep the optical bio scanner. I don't know. Maybe the communications interlock. No, we'll go with optical bio scanner for now. And and this lets me know where the entrances and exits are. That's a pretty nice one, to be honest. Oh no, we can't do that. Um. Yeah, I don't think we can actually do much of this. Oh, we could put something on our back. Okay, good to know. So we have a back slot, and we're actually using up all of our 13, our 13 points now. That's good. Okay, kind of good to know. Um, can I put this present location on the map if it's not already? No, it is. It is already a location. Yashan Square. So that's where we've gotten cybernetics from. I suspect I'll get more from there if I go back there. Um, I, for now, I'm going to just go to the traders and see what we can get, you know? I think that we've gotten to very high level. Um, I've also, I don't know if you saw, I had like bionic hands, which I just found here, which allowed me to actually jump up and get the um, dual wielding. Uh, what shall we call it? To do weapon handed fighting. So flurry, we can do that uh, like a lot more. It's pretty awesome. I'm actually not sure what I want to use my remaining points on. I think that like, a lot of these I could probably get from talking to the right people. So I'm probably going to hold off on them, spending them for now, and see what tech we can get. To complement our, our current build. Our current build is just so powerful. I mean, look at those stats, man. It's just nuts. Just wait till we get the second power. I don't even... I, I'm having a hard time even imagining what that looks like. <laughs> um, the, we're going to teleport over to... Let's start with uh, the six days still. Honestly, I think that is one of the yeah. best places for merchants for me. Hello, buddy. What have you got there? Um, I mean, that's some pretty expensive stuff there. I think I might have even given him some of it, to be honest. Ooh, Christ Eagle Battle Axe. Um, yes, please. I think I have a Fullerite Battle Axe, so I don't think I need both of those, but I'll take one of them for sure, and I think I could probably buy that off of him. 
very easily with like maybe one of the lasers or something. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Just some of the junk. I'm just never gonna use. Right? Let's get rid of some of that. What else do you have? You got oh well, you got some injectors. I want those. Cool. That's a pretty good trade. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Um, I'm going to look at my items. Let's see. Right hand, fluoride balax. Let's take that. Let's remove that. Let's remove that. I'm going to equip those in just a minute. I'm just going to tinker and mod them out. Because I think we can probably... I don't know about the cry steel. Yes. Oh, man. And if we could get serrated on it, I'd, I'd prefer that, to be honest. With this, we can get freezing on. Sure. I'm down. Over our left hand be the freezing. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh man, our damage is going to be just like through the roof. Uh, books. If I look, can I... Just click. I cannot. Just click. It's annoying. I have to go all the way over there. I kind of want to see. I think there's Icker merchants possibly around the six day still, so I need to check for them. Because I need to. If I want to. Oh, wait, hold on. What was that about building your own artifacts? Uh, what have you got in there? Is it. That guy's probably one of the dudes that has. It's like a tinker or something. Um, counterweighted recycling. Ooh, hello. And bioscanning, then I wouldn't need the thing. What kind of level is that? That's tinkering too. I don't have the tech for that. It's annoying. Counterweighted, what does that do? Bonus to hit. I don't need bonus to hit. We hit plenty. Okay. Let's see... I'm just gonna oop. Whoops. Ow. What's this sign here? Good stuffs. Grape witch brew. Okay. That I feel like means that you have interesting stuff. What does cheese do? I feel like I just I wanna carry those. Just so we can cook with them and see what they do. I wonder if you consume it with the wine, if it does like any special things. It should, if it doesn't. <laughs> um, there's some really interesting stuff you have in here, sir. I take some of it. Take a book or two. The merchant who trades for books is dead. That's why I'm throwing away books. Oh, hold on. What's that? I want to. I, I want to offer. Yep. Oh, I don't have enough wire containers to carry that many. Oh. Do you have any? You don't have any empty wire containers. Never mind. I, I need to buy some wire containers or something. Apparently. Uh, let's have a look. See what we have around here. You know, the six day stilts is actually a perfect location for um, trying to farm a high level robot. Herbs and tonics. Ooh, you might have some good stuff. Right? Oh, yeah. We got a salve injector and a love injector. I'm not sure about shade oil. That's not really anything I'm particularly interested in. But let's try and balance out this trade, maybe a little bit, maybe get that honey. I think we need to empty it out, honestly. What we could do, uh, something like this. Um, hold on. I need to get a little bit more. Maybe something like that. Yeah, 
Okay, cool. I think I need to just like, I don't know. Do some sort of liquid rearranging. I think we have like multiple liquids that are like most, mostly empty. I've got, yeah, convalescence here and files of it. Uh, oh. Can I just uh, drink that? Mm, yum. Now we can hold more water. Problem solved. I don't know why that guy keeps on standing on, on the fire. I'm also just... I need to look at what these guys have. I should really be doing that. Okay, there was also that other merchant that's like around here. I think that they're... are they around here? Is that where they are? Zoom spheres, is that what it said? I like that's what it said. Preserved foods. Apothecary. You might have some good things, possibly. Yeah, look at salve injectors. See? And empty water. I'm gonna take it. Um I have so much stuff. Like that they are willing to pay like a lot of stuff for. It's kinda crazy. Why don't you give me those as well? Deal. I don't even want them. <laughs> oh, the humble pie, by the way, will lower your ego permanently. <laughs> Be careful with that. Is that a gersling? Your hired gird. What's with the uh, segmented worms? How weird. What is this store here? Exotic liquids. Oh, hello. Um, acid, blood, okay. Oh, he's got black ooze and brown ooze and all kinds of interesting things. Um, I, mean, I could use those desalination pilots for like game chemistry. <laughs> I wanted to. There's, there's actually, if you, you really want to dive into it, there's some pretty crazy stuff you can do with the mixing of different liquids. Man, all these places are like spices and whatnot. I, I don't know if they actually have interesting things or like... I think that they're just kind of like flavor locations. You know? Like in this Pilgrim's... Yeah. All of that, it's, it seems like that's one of the hangout locations. Um, ooh, what's this? Yeah, just another one of them, see what I mean? Oh, this has armor. This could, because I'm a high level, they might have some good stuff. They have some really good stuff here. Um, oh, I guess that isn't affected by my level. Uh, let's go up and let's go let's go to the, the southwest one. I didn't see him when we were go running around. Okay, there you are. Somehow I missed you, friend. Um, Nana Weave. Uh, yeah, you don't have anything I want. There's actually another Dromad that is right here. So I've been kind of making a little circuit. If you watch my other series, I highly recommend finding your Dromads. They have a lot of the, the best stuff in the game. And they get, have so many salve injectors, it's good if you want that. If you're looking for that. I'm honestly just gonna give you some chem cells. Enjoy. I want that salve injector. Um, let's just make him so that we're not starving, and we'll go on, and we'll, honestly, this episode, I'm feeling like it's been mostly me doing trading and, and looking at stuff. The fighting, honestly, is getting a little bonkers. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there anytime soon, so let's just go check out the other places. Let's go to, like, um, go to Gate first. 
and I figured out how to wake up the bears so we don't need to wait for them. Uh, amazing. It looks like they're all kind of up right now. Hello? Um, empty injector. Ooh, um, that's kind of weird. No, nah, I can't make them. I wish I could. I think I already have the thing for a force bracelet, don't I? I might. Yeah. I even have it for it. It's funny. I recognize it. Because I've been waiting for getting Tink high enough. Uh, oops, high capacity. An ontological anchor is such an awesome item. I've been thinking of making my follower having high tinkering, but he's super dumb. So that's not gonna work. Oh, you know what we could do is instead of me water ritualing, could I have my companion do it? Who? Who doesn't like you? Dogs. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna water ritual. Um, can I share a secret with you? Oh, they could teach me how to craft negative weight. Oh, I can tell them about history. Cool. Can tell them about a good amount of history um, and get make them like me. Nice. So maybe I don't know if that's gonna pay off, but it's good to have good relations with the, the factions, especially this faction. They're quite powerful. Um, I don't see anything new there that I want. So I'll show you how. You can wake these guys up. Oh, actually, you're awake. Just sitting over here. Okay, whatever. Anyone asleep? No. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to show off the thing. Basically, I think you sp press control and space. Um, okay. And then, of course, the direction that you're trying to activate. And it, it lets you do what you need to do. It's pretty cool. It like lets you like talk to them and whatnot. Okay, so that was the best. Try one more. You know what we can do is we can also be like, hey, I'm not interested in looking at that right now. That makes it a lot faster. Okay, also I could teleport to Bethesda Susa, which I honestly have been kind of putting off going there. But now that we've got this crazy mutated robot companion thing, I think that we probably would be safe there, even in the cold. I don't know if they get affected by the cold now, but they have like a stinger. <laughs> Which I'm still confused about. <laughs> okay, um, here's the apothecary. Hey, you just seem to have honey. You don't really seem to have like anything special. And you just have all my junk. Oh, what's this? Um, this is what I think it is. One of strength, but this allows floating nearby. I think that that's fine. And lanterned. I'm gonna totally get that as well. I think that's, uh, was that a level one? Yes, nice. Both those are pretty nice things, honestly, for me to be picking up. They have like a huge functional benefit to them. And yes, I have the corpus, the the book for like diseases. <laughs> I just found it randomly. There's, you can get copies of it randomly, deep diving, and I happened to find one. Um, cool. I think that that's pretty good, right? I don't think that you had much else I want. Sure. Oh no, I don't have enough water containers. I guess we'll take, um, maybe I could take some other stuff off you, I don't know, anything else I want? Not really. Yeah, all this stuff is like completely worthless to me, I don't really want any of it. 
I wish I could be like, yo, keep the rest of it. Okay, I can take your water containers that lets me carry it. Good. See, they need to have water containers so you can do that. And they should do that automatically if they have it. Um, Kayakuya, let's do it. Last one. And Ural doesn't like trading with me, I think, because I've made him mad with being, like, fungally infected. But he'll trade with you. He doesn't mind you. But he, like, made plants spawn last time I tried to go near him. The main character. Okay, he has a weird artifact. I don't think it's super good. But we can use our little friend here to trade for it. See, I get, like, such a worse deal with him. You can, you can just see that right there. Just how much worse of a deal we're getting. It's like criminal. <laughs> like totally criminal. He's totally ripping us off. And then like yeah. I think here that's pretty good. Um any our skins for me? Sure. I think we actually carry a lot of water. Cool. We are. So yeah, that's how how you um, late game do some trading with people that might not like you. But look at this. If I do boosted strength, look how strong I am. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, plus 33. So that's like getting a boosted strength just a little bit more. It's, it's pretty good though. <laughs> pretty strong character there. Yeah, cool. Alright, I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.